Welcome, Annie Collins here for Paper Sweeties. This is part of the 25 Days of Christmas uh, hop. Today we're going to be creating this easel card. Let's go over some of the products I use. From Paper Sweeties, the Jingle All The Way stamp set. This stamp set has an adorable reindeer on here and a sled, some holly and berries, a little tie for the sled and the reindeer, and a variety of sentiments. We'll be using um, Jingle All The Way and Merry Christmas because it says Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. We're only going to use the Merry Christmas. I love this cute little reindeer. He's so adorable. All right, we're also going to be bringing in the From Doodle Bugs designs, the gingham and linen, and linen <laughs> six by six uh, paper pad. We're going to be creating an easel card, like I said. I'll go quickly over the measurements, but I'll have them on my blog. You'll need a piece of cardstock that it measures 11 by four and a quarter. Then we're going to score at five and a half, and then at two and three quarters. Or basically, you're going to fold one panel in half. So again, I'll go over it. It's four and a quarter by 11. Then you score at five and a half, and then at two and three quarters. To create your easel, you'll have to put a little bar here in the bottom or something, an element, to keep it from folding down. We also have an extra piece of 110 pound white cardstock, 65 pound dark cardstock, dark red cardstock, I should say, our gingham um, pattern paper, and our linen white and gray paper that will be our snow. I'm going to bring in our elements here. I can get them untangled. I went ahead and stamped, colored, and cut apart our elements. So here's our little reindeer. He's attached to our sled. Let me see if I can bring him in for a little bit of a close-up. And I went ahead and colored him and even a little tie. And then I went over it with Sakura Jelly Roll pens and metallic green for the tie. You know, the little leash thing there. And then his nose is very red. His little charm, his jingle bell is gold. The star is gold. And I added a little bit of gold onto our sled along with some white highlights. From a Jelly Roll white pen, uh, ten, size 10. So I also used some of that, a scrap of that um, dark red cardstock for matting this piece of card, um, cardstock. Mm, sorry, pattern paper, the same gingham paper, and that'll be for our stopper. And I stamped the holly and berries, and colored in the berries with some um, of the Sakura pen. I brought in this gold cardstock to best match the gold in our sled, and that's where our sentiment will be. Bringing in some DMC floss here. I brought in a um, metallic red and a white and gold twirled one and this tiny little jingle bell that I have in my um, stash. And this little jingle bell does jingle. I don't know if you can, if you can hear that or not. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. There we go. So I'm going to use that to tie um, just to dec decorate our card and some sequins as well. Okay, so let's get all our components off, out of our way before we can get started. Oh, I want to point out that I did put some foam adhesive as well on our sled and reindeer. These are going to set to the side because that is for our sentiments. We're going to stop, start with our top layer um, card panel. So uh, first thing I did was put some washi tape to hold my two twines or floss to the back of this red cardstock. I'm going to adhere the green pattern paper to the red cardstock here using some Barely Art glue. And I cut this with this like a smidgen or an eighth of an inch all the way around. And I just want a little bit of that red to show through. Now I'm going to go ahead and tie this two twines onto our panel here. And yes, I'm a bit off screen. I'm sorry about that because the struggle was real with these strings. They did not want us to lay flat. Actually, the red one didn't. The metallic red is a little bit more stiffer than the white one, and it just kept moving all over the place. So once I get this part here done, which takes me a moment, um, to adjust this little bow back and forth, I will pull on the little 
tails of the bow until I get it the way I want it. Then I'll snip the ends off. And I have to resort to using a mini zot dot behind my bow because in all the pulling and everything, somehow I loosened or didn't tighten my knot very well. So it's just, as you can see, it starts to droop. And I want my little jingle bell to be in the center of my bow. So once I get some more adjusting here, I go ahead and I sneak a little zot dot behind the bow to keep that in place. Making sure not to get it on the little bell so, so our bell can still jingle. Now it's a little bit easier to adjust, but now I realize, huh, my string is still a little too loose. So I grab another piece of washi tape to adjust it. Now I adjust the sides, and on that one section that you see that doesn't have much there next to the bow, that's where our sentiment will go. All right, so now I add some more liquid glue to the back of these panels so I can attach it to the white panel. And this will have a little bit of an edge showing all the way around as well. Now I'm going to attach our snow, which is cut from the white gingham and gray paper, but I'm using the linen side up. I'm attaching this with some foam adhesive. And I need a little bit more because I want it to be nice and firm on here. And then I'll tuck our sled and reindeer just behind our snow. So I'm going to remove the backing and attach this to the bottom, lining it up. I'm going to go ahead and peel all the backing off our uh, sled and reindeer. And you're going to see something that happens here. As I'm tearing this off, my fingers get attached to the sled and when I go to move it, I tear my little string that holds um, the reindeer and the sled together. I don't worry, I just go ahead and tuck my little sled in and so my reindeer and then I put a little tiny dab of glue on the string. Use my pokey tool behind it so that I can just tap them together and they just hold and you can't tell they fell apart. Alright, so here let me see, you can hear the little bell jingling. Let me see if I can get it to jingle for you. It's kind of hard. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this card panel to my card base. We're only putting glue on the one lower portion. So we're going to adhere that to the card panel. I fold it over so you can see just that panel. Don't attach it to the top or it won't give you that easel that you're looking for. Now to hold it up as an easel, we're going to start stamping our sentiment and our little sub sentiment. On the gold cardstock, we're going to stamp jingle all the way. That is our main sentiment that will go on our front panel of our card. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull that down. I'm going to bring in my VersaFine ink in onyx black. And I'm going to go ahead and ink up our sentiment, which I put onto an acrylic block and stamp that onto our gold cardstock here. And then I'm going to repeat this, well, not repeat this, I'm going to pull out the sentiment that reads, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. This sentiment is all together. If you feel comfortable cutting this apart, then by all means do that. I don't want to cut it apart, but I only want the Merry Christmas. So my solution to doing this is I attach my sentiment onto my acrylic block. I grab some washi tape and I'm a bit off screen here, but you'll see here in a moment what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying to make it where I can see because I can't see it since it's clear on clear. Basically, I mask off anything I don't want inked. So then I'm going to ink up my stamp with some Versafine um, Onyx Black ink and then I remove the washi and everywhere where that was masked off won't have any ink on it. So now only the Merry Christmas will be inked and I can stamp that on to my little sentiment strip. And that's how you can use it without tearing, cutting it apart. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere our sentiment onto the red cardstock that we're going to mat it on there. So you're trying to keep the continuity of that bit of red popping out throughout the card. We have it as our backer um, framed out for our green card pattern paper on our sled, on our sentiment, and then on our sub sentiment, which will read Merry Christmas. So I'm going to put some foam dots on the back of our 
sub sentiment because you need it to be popped up so that it can hold your card up. And I cut this one in half thinking they would only be needing halves, but the whole dot will fit nicely on there. And this isn't very high profile foam adhesive, it's kind of low profile foam adhesive, which I like because it doesn't add a lot of bulk, but it still does the job. All right, so I open my card up and I'm gonna put this right there on the bottom. And now you can see, you can click your top panel right behind it and it stands up for nice decorative. It folds nicely, not too bulky, and you can mail it in your A2 envelope. All right, so now let's attach our sentiment. Again, we're gonna put some some of the same foam tape on the back. I use only I use all the leftover edges once you pop those little dots out for these kind of things for the sentiment strips. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off my backing and I'm gonna attach it there. That'll also help keep our strings from getting all over the place. Go ahead and place that on there, fix our tails for our bow, and our card is basically done. But I like to add a little bit more to my card, so I'm going to embellish it with some sequins here. I pulled out some red and some gold and green from our Paper Sweeties um, sequin mixes, but the red, these little red oval ones, I pulled from my stash. I thought it would be so cute because it kind of looks like Rudolph's nose to me. But of course you can use what you have. And of course Paper Sweeties carries a nice variety of sequins and other embellishments for your card. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add our um, sequins to the bottom left and our top right. And now our card is complete. Again, here's our little jingle bell that jingles so cute. I don't know if you can hear it. It's actually hitting. There we go. All right. So our card is complete. Again, this is part. Um, we use the doodle paper, six by six paper pad and the gingham and linen and the jingle all the way stamp set. This is part of the 25 days of Christmas hop. Be sure to stop by my blog and the paper sweeties blog to see all the inspiration. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm.